In the last video, we learned that bar diagrams allow us to visually see the relationship between the knowns and the unknowns, and therefore can help us solve problems. Now we will look at another example. There were three times as many girls as boys signed up for a dancing contest. However, on the day of the contest, there was a Justin Bieber performance. So eight of the girls who signed up for the contest didn't show up. On the other hand, all the boys who signed up for the contest did show up. In the end, there were twice as many girls as boys in the dancing contest. And the question asks us, how many children actually participated in the dancing contest? This looks like a very complicated problem. We don't know the number of boys who signed up. We don't know the number of girls who signed up. We don't know the number of boys who participated. And we don't know the number of girls who participated. So, wow, there are a lot of unknowns. So let's try using a bar diagram to represent these unknowns. First, let's draw a bar to represent the number of boys who signed up for the contest. There were three times as many girls as boys who signed up for the contest. So we can use three of these bars to represent the number of girls who signed up for the contest. Next, the question tells us that all the boys who signed up showed up. So we can use this exact same bar to represent the number of boys who participated. Finally, the question tells us that there were twice as many girls as boys in the dancing competition. So we can use two of these bars to represent the number of girls who participated. Now let's look at one more piece of information the question tells us. It tells us that, the note that eight of the girls who signed up didn't show up. So what does this mean? It tells us that the number of girls who signed up is eight more than the number of girls who participated. Which, makes, which means that this block, this bar, has to be equal to eight. And since each one of these bars are equivalent, that means each bar is 8. Now that we have solved all the unknowns, we can look at the question. The question says, how many children actually participated in the dancing contest? And we can find that just right here. And since there are three bars of 8, we can find that number by 8 times 3, which is equal to 24. So there are 24 kids who actually participated in the dancing contest. Let's recap. First, draw a bar diagram by using bars to represent the knowns and the unknowns in the question and by illustrating their relationships among each other. Next, use the bar diagrams to solve the problem. Bar diagrams are very important tools, so we will give one more example in the next video. Stay tuned.